It is Friday, and what does that mean? It means my favorite way, and hopefully your favorite way, to get to know your Atlas recruiter, the often imitated, never duplicated Atlas Med Staff, Five Question Friday. With me this week, recruiter J.K. Scott. Hey, hey, let's do it. J.K., welcome. You are, uh, this doesn't count as a question, you are in Nashville, correct? I am. I am the one and only Nash Vegas. Again, it doesn't count as a question. How do you feel about Nashville as, just in, in, as a resident there? Because I've been there once. Eh, it was okay. I might be a little too old for it, though. I've been here since 2008, Rich, and the place has absolutely exploded. So it's changed a lot since I've, since we got here. It was, you know, a sleepy little uh country music town it is it is definitely blowing up and it's been a great place to raise our family our girls were two and six months old when we got here and they're now 17 and 15 so yeah all right you ready to get into this let's do it okay question number one tell me who jk scott is uh jk scott wow that's a that's a loaded question there rich uh this jk scott is not the punter for the san diego chargers so the often imitated never duplicate apparently that doesn't apply here so mm. um definitely uh yeah don't have his bank account but uh enjoy living here in nashville and uh living the dream as an atlas med staff travel nurse recruiter um very much into my daughter's worlds of sports and uh, music uh, and entertainment as we are here in the music city yeah, love love getting getting out and about here in nashville and, and getting to enjoy all that the scene has to provide so question number two you you coached basketball you did yeah. play you played collegiate sports yeah so tell me how or what do you use from those days in your recruiting days now so yeah, I played uh, college football at the University of Washington uh, and then Liberty University. Uh, and then I got into teaching and coaching pretty much right out, of, right out of college. And for me, I think when, when people have asked me that before about sort of using the sports background, it really just comes down to two things. One is the discipline that it, it required uh, to, to be able to show up every day when you didn't want to. Or, you know, the 6 a.m. workouts and things like that is being able to have that mindset to be able to know that I could duplicate those sort of patterns. And then the other piece would be, I think what sports, uh, at least in my mind, my, my, my piece of what I try to get out of it is, is the life lessons of relationships and, and working with others uh, in, that have very different backgrounds and, and trying to come together for a common goal. It's the same thing here uh, that, that I that I try to bring as a, as a travel nurse recruiter of, of of really trying to make it a team effort. That's that's kind of one of the initial things that we talk about when I get on a phone call with the nurses that uh, I'm on their team. We're, we're we're together in this. It makes a ton of sense, quite honestly. I mean, it it, it really does. So, and it's been and you've been successful with it so far. Yeah, by the grace of God, man. I don't know. It's been a, it's been a wild ride. Uh, three years into this now, and uh, yeah, it, there there are uh, there there are definitely some roller coasters involved as, as a as an emotional guy that loves to be involved in it. Uh, but at the same time, I really I love getting up every day and and seeing what the new challenges bring. Um, there are some amazing conversations that, that I've been able to have over the last three years involved in some really cool things with nurses getting engaged or you know, amazing sort of vacations or taking mission trips to other countries. And then some really tough stuff, you know, people going through life, you know, divorces and things like that. And I'm in for all of it uh, I'm, I'm, and I truly mean that. And that's something I, I, I try to, to bring to the table on every phone call. All right, question number three. Uh, your faith is very important to you. And, and faith means something different to, you know, to each person individually. What does it mean to you? And then how do you incorporate that into your into your daily life? What a what an awesome question. Uh, let's let's see if I can be succinct in that. Um, really for me, uh, and it's come it's come pretty full force in, in recent days with learning some news about friends that are going through some really hard things. For me, I've, I've recognized that there's very little in life that we can can actually control. 
Uh, and uh, so that, that's something we've taught with our daughters is, is the ability, uh, how we treat others and the effort that we give are pretty much the only things that, that are in our control and everything else is, is, is pretty much not. And so kind of coming open-handed with that and recognition how God has shown up faithfully in my life over and over and over again. And the constant prayer to me is the, the idea of, of me trying to give up that control of things I desperately want to try to con control to say, hey, God, I, give me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, um, the courage to change the things I can, and the, and the wisdom to know the difference. And that that to me is, is yeah, that's what my faith means to me is, is being able to surrender that over. I, and JK, that's powerful. I mean, it, it just, it, it's one thing to say it. It's another thing to live it every day, right? And I see that in you every single day is you, you have dealt with adversity. It was very... I wouldn't say it was easy when you started, but you started a, when at a time when travel nursing recruiting was a completely different monster than it is right now. And you take sure. it one day at a time, one step at a time. And I see it in you every single day. Well, thank you, man. Yeah. Question number four, who or what inspires you? Yeah, I think it goes right along there. Uh, I, I would be, it would be inauthentic of me to say anything other than uh, my inspiration comes from Jesus. Uh, I think that for me, uh, there's a lot of a misconception or whatever. People have an, a misunderstanding or not a full understanding. For me, uh, his model was very clear. He, he loved people. Uh, and the way he loved people is the way that I want to love people. And, and that's uh, without judgment. And it's with uh, mercy that's everlasting. Uh, and that's with grace because uh, I know that I've been given those things undeservedly so so for sure that is uh that is my biggest inspiration all right question number five if you go anywhere in the world where would you go this is an awesome question if you actually go to my bio page i was able to check off my number one bucket list item uh this past fall and that was a trip to to israel uh so doing a, a pilgrimage for 10 days was amazing so that number one list that number one item is off the list the second one uh, would be to go to uh, Greece and Rome. Uh, I was a I was a history teacher uh, for 16 years, so I taught U.S. and ancient world history. And of course, you know, teaching all those things, I would always encourage my students if they could get there to bring those things to life. But yet, I'm <laughs> I'm teaching it and had never been right. So those are those are definitely uh, places I would love to see on my list too. Greece, Rome. Uh, Italy, like right at any, oh my gosh. Yeah, that I'm the right. The birthplace there. of classic, you know, just, uh, you know, the start of mm. foundational, like modern uh, civilization. That is, that's pretty amazing. Well, uh, never mind art and food and, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm in. I'm All in. Right, we can go together, Rich. Make that happen. Let's go. <laughs> right, let's, let's do it. I'm in. <laughs> All right, JK, thank you so much. Give me the, uh, keep this timeless for me. Give me the month and the year that you started recruiting here with Atlas. Yeah. So I started in January of 2020. Gotcha. So you've been here for a minute. You have, yes. you have seen the ups and downs. You started at a time when the uncertainty was the, was the name of the game. And now we've gone full circle. We've gone through the pandemic. We're full circle now back to, to regular travel nursing cycles, I believe. So uh, it will be, it will be interesting to see where where this year goes in the next year and the next year after that, obviously. So if JK sounds like a recruiter for you, if uh, kids, Nashville, Faith, if those things are important to you and you want that team, you want that team atmosphere or team feel from your recruiter, JK is the guy for you. There you go. We're going to put all his contact let's information do right down below. JK, thank you so much. Um, hey, whenever you book that trip, let's, uh, you know, let me know and we'll go. Wait, I thought that's, that was you. I'm in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Thanks, all right. Rick. All right, my friend. We'll Take see you care. next week.